In this video, we are talking about the molarity of ions in a solution. That is, when you take an ionic compound and dissolve it in water. What are the concentrations of the different ions that form? Well, when you dissolve an ionic compound in a solution, you, the, it's real easy. If you know the molarity of the compound itself in the solution, it's really easy to find the molarity of the different ions. Um, for example, iron 3 nitrate. It ends up, when you put it into water, it dissolves into the iron 3 ion and 3 nitrate ions. And you know this because you, when you look at the formula, it's, you know it's an ionic compound, first of all, because iron is a metal and nitrogen and oxygen are nonmetals, or nitrate is a polyatomic ion. So it has a cation, the iron 3 ion, and an anion, nitrate. So it's an ionic compound. Most ionic compounds will dissolve in water. We'll talk in a later video about how you can tell if an ionic compound dissolves in water or not. But let's say you know that it dissolves. By looking at the formula, you know what the cation is and what the anion is, and so you know what it breaks up into. You know there are three nitrates from the formula because it's of this second three out here. This first three, remember, that's just part of nitrate. NO3 minus, that's what nitrate is. It's one of your polyatomic ions. So this outside three tells you that there are three nitrate ions, and because there's a, an implied one after the iron, it tells you there's one iron three ion. So <clears throat> we can say that the, in this solution, the concentration of the iron three ion will be the same as the concentration of the iron three nitrate that we make because one of these iron three nitrates dissolves and breaks up and makes one iron three ion. But, 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 the concentration of nitrate in this solution will be three times the concentration of iron 3 nitrate. Notice it's just this subscript here times the concentration of this stuff, or this number right here. That's where this three came from, because there are three nitrates for every one iron 3 nitrate that breaks up. The concentration of nitrate will be three times that of the iron 3 nitrate. So let's use this um, in an example. So let's say we have a 0.45 molar solution of potassium sulfate. And it's, you know this is, it dissolves in water because I put the AQ there for you at this point. But okay, so we want to find the concentration of the potassium ion, the molarity of the potassium ion. Well, first of all, what does potassium sulfate break apart into? Well, you can look at the formula and tell. You know that potassium is a metal, <clears throat> so that's going to be the cation. This two here tells you that there are going to be two potassium ions. Just like there were three nitrates in iron 3 nitrate, <coughs> excuse me, there are two potassiums and one sulfate. But we only care about the potassium here. So the concentration of potassium ion will just be the concentration of the potassium sulfate, 0.45 moles of potassium sulfate per liters of solution, times two moles of potassium. That two came from this guy right here. Two moles of potassium per one mole of potassium sulfate. And notice the units even work out really well. Moles of potassium sulfate cancel. And we get moles of potassium over liters of solution, which is just the molarity of potassium. So the, potass the concentration of potassium in this solution is 0 0.90 molar. But you don't really have to do all that. Look, once you realize that how many of the, that particular ion there will be from that compound, in this case, this two here tells us two potassiums, just multiply the concentration of the compound by that number. And we could say, for instance, what's the concentration of sulfate, SO4 2 minus? Well, see, there's only one sulfate, so it would be 0.45 molar in this solution. 